What's up? What's going on? What's good, everybody? The Boxing Source checking in here with this next topic that, you know, people have been talking about here in the boxing scene, and this involves the former unified welterweight champion Errol Spence Jr. As he had made a recent post on his social media that he went through cataract surgery recently uh, on his uh, eye, and, you know, now it's pretty much like got you know, some of the boxing uh, people in a buzz as far as like what could be next for Errol Spence Jr. So I'm bringing this up, man. Um, you know, given his situation, you know, with his eye, this is, you know, the same one that yeah, he has been dealing with since his car accident. And that, you know, of course, that he had, you know, issues um, with, the, with the eye when he had to go through surgery uh, before he was supposed to face Manny Pacquiao. And so that particular fight had been scratched altogether. Um, and now, you know, after his loss to Terrence Crawford last July, you know, folks are like saying that, you know, they had doubts on him, you know, particularly, you know, trying to get back into the ring. Um, but, you know, now it's like, since he's had this particular recent surgery, cataract surgery that, you know, has uh, bothered him for some time, you know, some people are feeling like he should retire. Now, I mean, you know, he had the whole thing with the car accident and he was able to recover from the car accident and, you know, have a few fights after that, be able to score wins after that. And then, of course, you know, like I mentioned before, when he was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao, uh, that fight got scrapped all together. So he had to have like another hiatus, uh, but still, you know, was able to defeat uh, your Dennis Ugas to unify the welterweight titles before, you know, having the eventual fight with Terrence Crawford in July for the undisputed welterweight titles. And, you know, he really had a very bad outing there against Terrence Crawford uh, for that to, you know, have his first loss of his professional career and for Terrence Crawford to be the undisputed welterweight champion. Um, you know, now it was supposed to be that these two fighters are supposed to, you know, go into a rematch. But now with this uh, eye surgery that is, you know, taking place, you know, that put him on the sideline for, you know, at least a couple of months. And so after that, you got to see, okay, is he going to be, you know, fully recovered from that? If he's, if he's going to be ready to go and what the situation is going to be in order to set up that particular fight, if they're going to have a rematch. But if they don't have the rematch, then what would be next for Earl Spence Jr.? Would he be, you know, able to fight somebody else, particularly at 154? He said that he wanted to have his next fight at 154 pounds after having a Terrence Crawford fight last July. So now it's like, okay, what other direction would he go at there at 154 pounds? I mean, there's, you know, a number of fighters out there, a number of contenders at 154, but of course the biggest fight out there for Errol Spence Jr. at this particular moment is the rematch with Terrence Crawford. Now, if that particular fight does not, you know, come to fruition, then what would be, you know, the other direction? Would he consider retirement? He says, nah, man, he ain't even doing that. It ain't, it ain't happening. Uh, but, you know, given the, you know, competitive spirit that he has, man, I really don't, I really don't see why he's, he would, you know, even think about retirement. But, you know, we've had this conversation before, you know, when, um, you know, I mentioned Deontay Wilder last month, um, you know, after he had his fight with Joseph Parker, where he lost by unanimous decision and it wasn't even close. Uh, it, it just seemed like he was, you know, not completely into it in that particular fight. So he pretty much brought up that question when it came to Deontay Wilder. Uh, and now, you know, some of these uh, questions are coming up for Errol Spence Jr., particularly with this uh, recent news of him uh, getting, you know, cataract surgery uh, there. But he said it's been bothering him for some time. Now, I don't know if it was bothering him before the fight against uh, Terrence Crawford or not, but, you know, the thing about it is, um, he just wanted to go forward with that fight. And if he had that issue before, he didn't want to say, you know what, I'm not going to have another fight, you know, delayed or scrapped all together for me to, you know, have surgery once again. So why not go ahead and have this particular surgery after that fight takes place? So that's what he went ahead and did. Um, but, you know, with that being said, I mean, I don't know what this means for Errol Spence Jr. in 2024. I mean, I pretty much uh, put up the possibilities uh, for him, you know, what fights he could have. But, you know, there are still some people that feel like maybe he should, you know, go ahead and, uh, you know, hang it up. Certain fans. No, I mean, I don't know about all <laughs> certain fans or whatever it is, but still, still a hot topic. Still, still something for, you know, people to, you know, kind of like uh, ponder or discuss, 
and I, I open this topic for y'all to you know discuss you know with the comments uh, if you are able to share your thoughts on it. Uh, should you know Earl Spence Jr. continue his career as he says he wants to, as he says he definitely wants to, or should he just you know wrap it up? Share your thoughts. Hit the like button if you like the content here for this, um, and also subscribe to the Boxing Source YouTube channel. And I will catch y'all later. Peace out.